Good morning. That's a feeble. <laughs> uh, a good morning to everybody. I'm so happy that all of you could arrive on time and safely and rest in comfort the night before. Okay. Distinguished registrants and colleagues. Welcome to the inaugural Asian Pediatric Ethics Conference with the theme, Emerging Issues in Pediatric Ethics. This conference is jointly organized by the Pediatric Ethics Program at the Center of Biomedical Ethics in the Yong Lulin School of Medicine. The Pediatric Ethics and Advocacy Committee in the Kute Kwat National University Children's Medical Institute, the College of Pediatrics Academy of Medicine Singapore, and the Singapore Pediatric Society. We are pleased to inform that we have 98 registrants from 13 nations. And particularly, we are happy that almost 40% of the participants are healthcare and related professionals who are not doctors. Your strong collective presence at this conference testifies to the fact of emerging ethical issues and the importance of addressing them. Let us look forward to a time of rich learning through the speeches from our speakers, the valuable questions that are put forward by the delegates, and the informal discussions that will be occurring in between and through these times. We have three requests. Please respect the sensitivity of the frank expression of thoughts that our speakers and all of us will be expressing during these two days and maintain the privacy of the individuals who express them. We are here to learn from each other and we need to be able to trust each other and be open to each other. Secondly, uh, we are going to make arrangements, we, we have made arrangements for the recordings, for the speeches, the proceedings to be recorded. So please do not uh, make your own recordings and disseminate them. We have a packed schedule, so to our dear speakers, I know you have much to say. Tickle everybody, keep to the time please. It's my pleasure now to invite Dr. Julian Savilescu, the Chen Sulan Centennial Professor of Ethics at the National University of Singapore and the Director of its Center of Biomedical Ethics. Prof. Julian, please. Thanks very much, Roy, and I'll be very brief because I don't want to take uh, speakers' time. Uh, so first of all, welcome to all of you uh, who have travelled uh, in many cases internationally. Thank you for coming to the inaugural APEC conference. Um, a special thanks to, to Roy Joseph, Mayo Chan and, and Karen um, who have organised today. Um, why did we initiate this program? So with Dominic Wilkinson, our keynote speaker, and Andreas Kappis and Kazuo Takaguchi from, uh, from Japan, we did a study of the programming of driverless cars comparing uh, the UK with Japan. And in brief, um, the majority of people when asked if you're an occupant of a driverless car um, and it will crash or can deviate and, and hit innocent pedestrians, how would you like that car to be programmed? And the English participants, the majority when they were the occupants, said uh, we would like the car to save the most lives. So if there's more people in the car, save the car. If there's more pedestrians, save the pedestrians. When we asked the Japanese, they said 
no, we want to save the pedestrians, even if there's more people in the car. It's a very interesting intercultural difference. However, when we ask them about if their child or family member was in the car, in both countries they wanted to save the occupants of the car. And in my experience in giving many talks, I've found this to be a consistent phenomenon, that people are willing to make sacrifices of themselves, but not of their children. Uh, and in my view, the most difficult ethical issues in the future are actually going to be in paediatrics, because this is where parents are very concerned about the welfare of their children. Uh, we've already seen this in the United Kingdom with a whole range of, of cases that continue to increase since the case of Charlie Gard. And I suspect you will see the same thing in Asia. Paediatrics is also the most difficult area of, um, of, of medicine, perhaps also with, with obstetrics, because the individual is not able to make decisions for themselves and is vulnerable. Um, so I, I think in, in the, the priorities for the Centre for Biomedical Ethics, paediatrics is, is at the top. Of course, artificial is in, intelligence is, and, and chat GPT is the sort of all, all the kind of rage at the moment. And in fact, I, I have to apologise, I have to leave at 11 to give a talk on chat GPT elsewhere in the university at a conference, but I'll be back at 12. Um, but so I, I deeply appreciate Roy being willing to lead this program and I look forward to working with all of you in the region uh, around paediatric ethics and to build on the relationships that we already have. Uh, so without further ado, Roy, should we pass over to the first speaker or what's the next on the agenda? Thank you. We'll move on to the keynote lecture now, and may I invite Prof. Lee Yong Singh, Group Chief Head of Pediatrics at National University Health System, and also my boss. Serve to come this, <laughs> come, come this way, please. Prof, you embarrassed me. Yeah. Right, uh, so good morning, everybody. Uh, it's an honor to chair uh, the keynote session today, and of course, uh, it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Professor Dominic Wilkinson uh, for this keynote uh, address. So, uh, Prof Wilkinson is a Professor of uh, Medical Ethics and Deputy Director of the Oxford uh, Centre for Practice, uh, Practical Ethics. He's also a practicing clinician. He's a consultant at the Newborn Intensive Care at the John Radcliffe uh, Hospital in Oxford and a Senior Research Fellow at the Jesus College, Oxford. So, he's published more than 200 academic uh, articles related to ethical issues for adults, children, and newborn uh, infants. He's co-authored several books, and I understand that these are all must-read for people who are in the field of bioethics. I think he was uh, awarded the prestigious uh, British Medical Association President's Award in 2018 uh, uh, by the uh, British Medical Association Book Awards. Um, so without further ado, I'd like to invite uh, Professor Wilkinson to give us uh, his uh, keynote uh, lecture. Thank you. Thank you. 